What were you doing before you entered the house, professionally? Um, I was sort of like a part-time model and did promotional jobs and what have you. So it's just, it sort of impo impounded that and made it on a massive scale. So it Impounded it? I mean, I don't know what the word is. I got a sense of it. <laughs> it did something to it. It, it exploded it. Again, not probably the wisest words to use in this situation. <laughs> It changed my life for the better. Right, OK. But then you get all sorts of commercial offers, and yeah. that lasts for a certain amount of time, and you, do yeah. rather, you can do OK yeah. financially. Yeah. The, um, now, in the course of that, the two of you maintain a friendship. Are you, how often are you seeing each other during this? At, at that time, in the beginning, we were seeing each other all the time. We'd go to events together. Um, and roughly in <clears> the first 12 months of leaving the situation, uh, don't worry, assume the tax man isn't listening, roughly mm. how much money could one make in a week or a month, whatever you want to tell me? Um, a lot, and for and for women, it's it's better because you can do the lads mags, and, the, and at that time they offered quite a lot of money, but now they don't. Well, I mean, what two hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, sort of thing? around that. Really, for for what a lads mag? Do you not do you not read them, Judge? Shockingly enough, no. no. <laughs> you said that there has been a reduction recently in the amount of income that you've received. Are you able to explain why? Well, June has been my worst financial month in years, um, down to sort of the referendum, and also due to guys going out watching football. I mean, football comes before babes every Always. single time. I need know. a moment for various reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Levi. <laughs> when? <laughs> That's rather a surprising submission. Let me tell you, I, believe it or not, am just like everybody else in this country who watched the mm. debate on Brexit. And I listened to the arguments pro and against. And like everybody else, I was especially interested in the economic issues that would emerge as a result of us leaving the European Union. At no stage <laughs> did I anticipate that one of the consequences of us <laughs> leaving the EU of one of the economic downturns as a result of Brexit would be that there would be less gentlemen watching Babe Station. <laughs> it happens, though. Yes. So, as a result of that, you are pro-EU. And football uh, as well. You, well, everybody, you're against football. Yeah. But you would like, you would like to rejoin the European Union, then, presumably? Yes. Well, there you are. <laughs> Madam, let me tell you, if you were in Italy, you'd be running a political party. <laughs> you were doing something rather different. I was, yes. No judgement, trust me, I'll have no idea about it. You're going to have to tell me about it. What was your job at the time? Um, I'm a successful glamour model and... Now, just pause. Now, you see, a glamour model, my idea of that is a sort of rather charming beach in Portofino with Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> is that the sort of look that you're referring to? Um, I would do uh, lingerie modelling, um, clothes, it ranged really. What's sort of glamorous about it? I think you've got some, you've got some photos, you've bought some photos. Let, let me have a look. This is germane to the case, it's not some species of audition, just so you're aware. <laughs> <laughs> now, just to be clear, I, good Lord. Well, um, certainly, glamour is a word. I, 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 there are some others, but definitely glamour. You, you seem to be sort of channelling a young Joan Collins, rather. Yeah. <laughs> is that, was that the, the, the look you're going for? Good Lord. I, you know, as I look this, I'm reminded by a mental trigger to book my holiday uh, with, with my better half in the Hilly Lake District. I can't imagine why. <laughs> um, now, you got paid well for this. Yes. OK. And you got paid, I think, rather... Well, I say very very well, because you were successful. Roughly, what would you get for the best gig you did that year? Roughly. For, the, for a, a shoot? Yeah, for um, a shoot. For a, for a photo shoot. 
I presume you didn't sort of dress up as Joe Collins and go around firing guns. I mean, that's what I... Yes. Um, I don't think that's really relevant uh, to how much I was paid. Well, oh, thank assume. you so much for telling me what you think is relevant. Mm -hmm. It is. It matters. And it matters because I need to understand whether or not you had a loan at the time with Becky. Or not, and to assess. I was paid a large um, amount of money for, for you know. A large we're amount. We're talking of money. hundreds of pounds per shoot. Yes. Hundreds of pounds per yes. shoot. Yes. Now here's the thing I don't understand, Helen. If they put in a personal request, if they put in a request for a specific model, would that model then have to attend the casting call in any event? What would be the point if they already wanted her? If the model is specifically booked by the client, then that is when the model has the job. But I, this client specifically requested a casting but requested Nina to attend the casting. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, no, not what, what I've been aware what of. You understood was that there was yes. a call from somebody, not Helen, who implied to you very strongly that you were in regardless of what happened at that casting call. Correct. I see. Now, as a result of that conversation that was presented to you, what did you do, Nina? Once they told you, don't worry, according to your claim, you're in. Kharosho, <laughs> what did you do? Well, I took, you know, I had other opportunities as well to do other modeling jobs. Well, such I, as what? So it was a contract for an English uh, designer. How that, much for? It was for about, I think it was 1,100. So it was actually... Do you have than. any evidence of that contract? Uh, I didn't sign a contract since I, it was no point of me signing it because I didn't take on the job. Right, so you decided to turn down other work. Correct. Now, where is, other than this phone call, is there anything else that you've got from the agency which clearly demonstrates that as far as this other client was concerned, you were in? Mm. There's no, to be honest, it was just a phone call, it was a mutual agreement. Um, now, what happened, Helen? Why didn't Nina end up getting the job? Because she did not attend the casting. What happened, Nina? Why didn't you attend? I got food poisoning and I did... Well, not on the morning, was it... Uh... It was 24 hours before that I... can I... see, just out of interest, uh, do we need this photo up here? I mean, <laughs> no complaint, I just see there are a number of shaking cameras everywhere. <laughs> I work on Red Light TV and I work on Storm Babes TV. On what? Storm Babes TV. Storm Babes? Storm Babes. And is that people who are predicting hurricanes? <laughs> Well, yeah, you say so. <laughs> no, it's what not. Are, what, are, what is a storm babe? So, or we also get called, like, phone shakers. They call phone, phone shakers? shakers. Yeah, because we sit there shaking the phone. So why yeah. are you shaking a telephone? Well, I don't know. I don't actually know. They just well, you must have to... some idea. They ask they you to show up. <laughs> they tell you to do there. it. I'm talking. <laughs> sit there, Makeda, with a telephone and going, hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today the weather's going to be terribly bad. Well, <laughs> what do you do? Okay, well, you sit down. Yes. And then you go live and you wait for the phone to ring. I see. There is that what it is? Yes. So there you are. You're, you're shaking your telephones. Telephone. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea, presumably, now I understand, and I hadn't seen that in my um, evidence pack. Stop smiling over there, Peter. <laughs> You shake the telephone, yeah. and then I presume, by and in large, gentlemen telephone in, and they want yeah. to talk to you. Yeah. Right, now I understand. Now, that's yeah. how um, you earn some of your money. The rest of the money is done through modelling. Yeah. And you said you're also involved in other things as well. Yeah. What other things? Oh, well, I don't know. I just have, like, GoFundMe pages and stuff. Well, that was interesting, too, because, <laughs> again, trying to come to, to an understanding of how you earn your money, there's... Mm. Two things which are interesting. Now, Amy, you've told me about this in your counterclaim, which I'll have to review in due course, but you told me you shared an interest in cosmetic surgery. That's very expensive, isn't it? It is. Well, I ask you this, McCade, yeah. it's part of your case. What's the most expensive thing that you've bought? Uh, my boobs. Your breasts? Yeah. Roughly, how much does that cost? Um, just under 6000 Now, Amy, she said something about GoFund. Do you know what she's talking about? I do. What is she talking about? Um, basic, it's called GoFund. Right. Um, basically... I'm so glad you finished that work. <laughs> Do carry on. Yes. Um, men put in some money into a pot, basically, online, so she can afford to pay for her assets. Hang on. You mean there is a website somewhere 
where you will place yourself online, you set up a page, and by and large, gentlemen, men will contribute to your breast enhancement. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, so... How much did you raise? Only about 900, because it was really quick. Sorry. <laughs> You still raised nine hundred pounds. Yes, not well, that's that quite much. a lot. Well, individual contributions. Yeah. Do they leave notes? Yeah. And what do they want in return? Nothing. They're just like, oh, can't wait to see you on Storm Babes. <laughs> can't wait to see them. That's R right. right. <laughs> it's a rare moment you've stumbled upon a temporary, temporary second of speechlessness. <laughs> in other words, well, there are no other words. <laughs> Somebody will telephone you and say, I am a fan of yours, you're a, a, like a muse. And um, I enjoy seeing you so much, here's £30 for a breast enhancement. Yeah. And they want nothing in return. No. That's quite something. Yeah. If you enjoyed that video, then I strongly suggest clicking here for more highlights. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, and why not, so that you never miss out, subscribe. Clicking down there, that's an order.